Okay. All right, so today uh, we're picking up where we left off from yesterday uh, with <clears throat> decrementing a number with JavaScript. All right, you can usually or you can easily decrement or decrease a variable by one with the minus minus operator. I minus minus semicolon is the equivalent of I equals I minus one semicolon. The entire line becomes I minus minus semicolon eliminating the need for the equal sign. Change the code to use the minus minus operator on my bar. All right. So this is no longer needed. And we can just say I minus minus. And let's console log that to see what's happening. Uh, I and it's not console logging. Let's go to my Visual Studio Code. Okay, let's see what it does. It's probably going to be a lot of things, a lot of console logs on this. Okay, so let's go to our output. Uh, you haven't saved it yet. Save it. And I haven't actually ever run anything in here. How do I run the output? Is it just, shouldn't it just automatically run? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe you you just better do it on free code camp and complete the code here. What about? <clears throat> oh no no wait. Yeah, there is no. Oh, I did my oh. var my var. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh me. Yeah. It didn't. Uh, it didn't output anything, did it? Oh, no. I still have my var. <laughs> Man, I'm still not awake. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well last night. Okay, so it decremented from eleven. It decremented one to ten. Yeah. All right. And I'll just fix this. This line. Okay. Can you try this one? I send you one on chat. Yeah. Would you like to share your screen? And no, no. I just send it on the chat. So we just take that. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I can just put this in my. <clears throat> So I'll just try it here. Yeah. My var minus equals one. And then let's console log this. And it'll be nine. So it's the same thing. Yes, same thing, yeah. But this, the difference is that you would use this to always do just one. But this one, you could use this to say eight, you know. Yeah. On. Nine. Yeah. And you can do it in a class or division or multiplication. It works for everything. You can change. Exactly. Like, yeah. So, yeah, if you wanted to add, you yeah. could add 10, and then this would be 20. Right. You know, so um, there's a lot of different things you could do with this. But this one will always just be. The combination one, one, one number at a time because yeah. um, I don't know. I, I'm interested just to see what if I put a two here. What does that do? Yeah, it's not it's not gonna mm. it's not gonna jive with that. It yeah. okay. has to always just be uh, this one can be one, but yeah. it doesn't it doesn't yeah. have to be uh, it doesn't have to be. It can be mm. two or 
anything higher or whatever. So, but yeah, good point. Yeah. Kara, did you uh, want to try anything? I understood all of that. Yeah, good. Okay. I just have it on mute because the, the children are up and, and getting ready for school. So. Uh, okay, yeah. We have that issue too at our houses, so uh, it happens. All right, let me just store this real quick. I'm working on another one. All right. Uh, this is. This is yeah, this is different. Yeah, that was your portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. All right, so let's tab that one over. Yeah, okay. Whoop, I get rid of that. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. All right, so let's do our next challenge. Uh, challenge 13. Okay. I can run the test. Oh, yeah. I just got to get rid of all this excess stuff. There we go. <coughs> all right. Create decimal numbers with JavaScript. With JavaScript, we can store decimal numbers and variables too. Decimal numbers are sometimes referred to as floating point numbers or floats. Not all real numbers can accurately be represented in floating point. This can lead to rounding errors. Okay. Create a, create a variable, my decimal, and give it a decimal value with a fractional part. Okay. R my decimal equals five point. I won't do that. I'll do eleven two eight seven whatever. Okay. And then that's it, right? I don't need to do anything else, right? Yeah. That one's probably the easiest challenge of the day. <laughs> All right. Uh, I won't say anything on that one. I'll just say uh, decimal. Uh, very easy. Okay, next one, challenge 14. Okay. In JavaScript, you can also perform calculations with decimal numbers, just like whole numbers. Let's multiply two decimals together to get their product. Change the 0, 0 0.0 so that product will equal 5.0. Uh, hmm. 2.5. No, multiply with 2.5. Yeah. 2.5. And then we console log that. Product. And we get 5, miraculously. All right. All right, let's say multiplication. Uh, also very easy. Okay. All right, <clears throat> now let's divide one decimal by another. Change the zero so the quotient will equal 2.2. .2. All right. 2.2, uh, is that like 4.4? I may need to check this one. My math is not that good. Yeah. Okay. Everyone got that one? Yep. Okay. 
Uh, I shouldn't have that. All right. All right, finding a remainder in JavaScript. The remainder operator modulus gives the remainder of the division of two numbers. All right, so five modulus two equals one because math.floor five divided by two equals two. Two times two equals four, five minus four equals one. So it's taking the remainder after after uh, dividing. Mm. <clears throat> so what's what's left over after we divide uh, five by two? Uh, so two times two is four, and then that remaining one is the is the modulus. Mm. In mathematics, a number can be checked to be even or odd by checking the remainder of the division of the number by two. 17 divided by two, the modulo two equals one. 17 is odd. 48 modulo two is 48, or is even, because 48 is even. The remainder operator is sometimes incorrectly referred to as the modulus operator. It is very similar to modulus, but does not operate does not work properly with negative numbers. Set remainder equal to the remainder of eleven. Okay, so. Equals. Uh, Eleven. Three. Okay. And then R. Oh wait. Console log. Remainder. And it comes to two because it's nine, three times three is nine. Yeah. So 11 minus nine is two. All right, let's run the test. We passed. Okay, now I should go. All right. Yeah. So we can end on this note. Yes. Compound assignment with augmented addition. All right, thanks. Bye. All right, see you, Miss Finn. I'll uh, I'll uh, wind it down for you. But uh, oh, okay. thanks. Uh, right. Yeah, just uh, let me know how you're progressing today, and if you have questions and you're working on something, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Yes. All right. Bye bye. And yeah, with that, we'll we'll call it a day. Okay. Division and challenge 16 was remainder and <clears throat> then Miss Finn needed to leave. Me? Yeah, my mistake. Okay, and that'll finish us up for today. And um, we will start again with our next section. And that will be compound assignment with augmented addition. Right. So this was kind of, I think th this is the uh, symbol that we had talked about earlier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we're just going to do that again in this lesson, and I'll end the recording for now. Awesome. Let me see if I can.
Okay, stop.